Alrighty, hello guys, welcome me faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we're actually back with our supply ship. Right here you have the first iteration of what we did. Right here you have the second, where we actually added the level right there. We added the bridge to the top, and I think we also actually added... I don't know what we added. We did something else. Oh, we did the whole back end as well. Uh, after that, we've actually went on to do this thing right here. This is actually the um, the structure for the diving bell. If you don't know what a diving bell is, essentially it's like a little capsule that you sit in and I guess you just get lowered down into the ocean and, and, and that's it. <laughs> kind of like a submarine, but not really controlled. Anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and continue with this today. I'm going to add a bunch of lights to the actual deck. I'm going to add some lights to this as well. I might actually add some sort of structure to the top of the bridge to try and make it look a little bit nicer. And we'll go from there. So, let's get to it, shall we? Alright, so, I think what we actually need to start with is some lights. Let's go ahead and grab some lights and we'll shove them on the back, I think. I'm just going to go ahead and do them in, like, normal areas, uh, if that makes sense. So, like, one there. And maybe one there, there we go, and we can just have it go like that. So one, two, there we go, and we can just send it for the others as well, and just keep it going. Although, actually, now that I think about it, going lower actually makes sense, because I think uh, it'll actually look a hell of a lot nicer if we do it that way. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and add lights along the bottom of this, and um, yeah, we'll see what it looks like. Alright, so I've added uh, a bunch of lights down the bottom right there, as you guys can see, on the inner side. And I've also actually added some lights right here on the outer side, because we obviously need some lights in the walkway out there. So that's what we've done. Uh, what I want to do now is actually add a button to turn all of those on. I don't know where that should be, but um, probably in the bridge, I suppose. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a button, and we'll just shove it up here for now. So here we go, push button. Oh no, toggle button is what we need. There we go, make it white for now, and we'll just shove it right there. So if we connect this down to every single one of these lights, uh, we'll be good. Alright, so I've gone ahead and put it in, let's go ahead and turn it on and see what that looks like on a night time, I guess? So, current time, there you go, and this is what it looks like. So you can actually see all of the back deck is lit. Uh, except the back bit all the way back there, so we'll have to do something there. Uh, and I do think I'm going to add some spotlights up here somewhere, pointing down. We might even add some here, actually, so we can have one pointing this way, forwards a little bit, and one pointing backwards a little bit, so we can actually see the deck. I think that makes sense, actually. Let's do that. Alright, so the way that we're going to do this, then, is obviously on both sides. Let's go ahead and delete this guy and this guy. We'll get ourselves a pivot point, and I think we'll just shove it out, so it goes like this. There you go. That one's going to go that way, and this one is going to go the opposite way, just like that. And we're going to add lights to each of those. Here we go, and that should be fine. So here we go, spotlight. Shove it on there like this, there we go. Shove one on this side as well, obviously like that. And we need a number so that those guys um, actually angle themselves down. I don't know what that number should be just yet, but we need one. So I'm going to shove it just there in the center. Uh, and actually, we'll just change the color of it. There we go. All right, so attach this to here and here, here and here, and I think I might as well attach the spotlights to this right here. So when we want the lights on, we'll just turn them on like that. Okay, so that number should be something like 0 0.7? Because actually, they're going to angle down quite far. Let's go ahead and spawn it in. And see what that even looks like. Uh, you might not be able to see very much just yet, but... If those guys are angled down quite far, that'd be great. Yeah, they are. They are. Right, cool. Get inside. Okay, turn the light on so we can see. And... Yeah, I mean, they are lighting up the deck quite well, but... I think the rear one should actually aim a little bit further backwards than that, shouldn't it? I think so. Alright, so what I'm thinking we do is we actually connect this to the rear one, and this to the rear one over here, and obviously this is going to be, instead of 0 0.7, it's going to be something like 0.5. Spawn it in, and the lights should automatically be on. And then we will see whether it looks good or bad or ugly. Uh, so yeah, obviously it's pointing backwards a little bit further, and the whole deck is actually lit up very well. That's awesome. Alright, so another thing that I am going to do is actually go to these lights, and I'm going to change the color of them to be a little bit less... I guess less aggressive. I don't know, white seems very aggressive for lights. So I'm going to go ahead and just travel through each of these and try and change them all to be a different color, which is 
Uh, a little bit mad, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try and do it. So there and there. There and there. Very nice. Slowly but surely, we should be changing the color a little bit. Uh, which is quite nice. Yeah, good. Alright, so you know what I was just thinking? It would be really cool to actually have this structure come this way a little bit uh, and actually be supported by somewhere else as well. So I'm actually going to go ahead and just send that down like that and I think I'll have like some cross beams over here somewhere uh, and just sort of attach these guys together. So if I can, let's drop it down to the same height as those, which I believe is there, and we'll do something along the lines of this. Attach these guys together like that. Attach this across the top like so. And I think we'll get away with doing the same thing we've done over there, which is just this. There you go. So it's a little bit more of a structure uh, to try and keep this looking a little bit better. Okay, and I decided to add these guys as well because I thought that would look quite nice. Which, um, yeah, overall, I think it actually does. All right, okay, cool. So from there, I'm actually going to go ahead and attach these guys as well because, again, a little bit more structure obviously might make it look nicer. Um, the other thing would be kind of cool to do is to actually do some sort of, like, um, connections between these guys. So let's say I did something along the lines of that. From this side, we go up as well. There we go. Uh, and I think that'd be kind of good. We'll leave that just like that. Um, it would also be nice to do it across the center as well. So let's do this all the way to the corner, I guess. Yeah, sure. And in the center where it all intersects, we'll just do this. So yeah, it's a bit more support and I think that looks better. Okay, so the next thing that I actually want to do is delete these guys right here. Obviously, this is at the bottom right now, but realistically, I think it should actually be at the top. So if we go ahead and grab this from there all the way over to here and we cut it, yes. Let's move it upwards to, like, here, so it's actually at the top, where it should be. Uh, and then we build the actual thing into that. Now, I'm not sure what this is supposed to look like, or what it's actually gonna look like. But let's go ahead and build it in pink, to begin with. Uh, and that might end up making it look really nice, or really ugly. But I don't really care. So, there you go. <laughs> Attach those guys into there, there we go, do these guys into here. And I think we're gonna need to add, like, a hatch on the front so that this actually works. And there we go. And when I say I don't care, I mean, I do care, I just don't think it's gonna look very good in the end anyway, if that makes sense. So, what we'll do is we'll add a hatch to this already. Here we go. Hatch, and I think the hatch is gonna have to be added down there. Which is weird, because I'm not sure how I'm gonna actually add it. Let's go ahead and do this, one, two, three, four. Yep, there we go. Uh, shove this guy onto there like that, and then you can actually get in via that door. Okay, cool. From there, we're gonna go ahead and build these guys up. So there's one, there's two. We're gonna have to do these guys as well. Alright, cool, and cool, and... I'm gonna attach that together there, attach it together here, and that's fine. What I would really like to do, and I'm not sure what it's gonna look like, is actually open up the floor. Um, only like a tiny bit though. Like, like kinda like that. Uh, so we'd have to actually put in like a door. I don't know how this is gonna work, but bear with me here. So, door. <laughs> yes. Okay, we're gonna go with door frame. I think it's this way round, but actually it could be this way round. I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna go ahead and shove all of that in. Um, I do wish this could be bigger, and actually I didn't really think about this an awful lot beforehand. Uh, but yeah, it would be cool if it was bigger. But there we go, shove that into there. And then if we drop this down into the water, will that look cool? I'm not entirely sure. Alright, porthole. Let's go ahead and have a little look at one of these. It'd be awesome if this fit, but it doesn't. So we're gonna have to use, like, different windows instead. But that's okay. Let's go ahead and shove that onto there. Uh, a porthole window can go on here like this. So when we are underneath the water, we can still see. And we're just gonna go ahead and do this up to there. Like that. Do this one as well, obviously, up to there. And... I guess, actually, we'll just build in the sides. It's gonna look really weird, whatever we do. So, maybe this is fine. There we go, there we go. I would have liked the top two have been like a little bit pointy as well, but I think what we're gonna end up with is just a very flat thing. So let's just do this across there, do this guy across here. Obviously, we can go with the angles where we have angles already. There we go, and there we go. And then we can just Shove this under here like this. There we go. Alright, very nice. Yeah. So that's our diving bell. It looks very weird. You can see from the outside there. I am going to build this in right here and put some seats in here. 
Uh, and we are probably going to need to add some actual uh, thingies as well. What do you call them? Um, some weight blocks. Because otherwise it is going to look very, very strange. All right, I'm going to delete all of those guys. And I'm going to do this. Weight. Yeah, weight blocks. Here we go. Shove that across there like that. Shove this across here like this. And that's going to be the way the weight is actually spread. Okay. <laughs> so far, so weird. Right. So where's the hole on that? It's actually at the front. We're going to delete these guys. And we're going to add some anchor points. Just like these ones. Uh, and they're essentially just going to go on there like this. Unfortunately, because I haven't made this even, it's always going to be a, a bit weird when it comes up. But I'm sure that'll be fine. Alright, so current state of this is that it is actually bobbing up and down right there. I guess we do need to add some brakes to it and that'd be fine. Um, yeah, alright, cool. That's fine. Okay, so all the lights are on right now. Let's go ahead and press 1. Oh, no, press 2 to actually bring it up. There we go, and it actually does get stopped, which is awesome. If I then press... 1, that lets it down. So actually, I need to be very quick here. I need to be extremely quick. Oh, never mind. I wasn't quick enough. Alright, I'm going to have to try and do this differently, and I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I need these guys to be a little less quick, to be honest. And yes, this will probably be controlled within the actual diving bell. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and close this door. And I'm going to send it down. Okay. All right, it's gone down. It's in the water. And there is no water actually getting inside of it. Which is awesome. So. Oh, the thing is, actually. Because it's not quite going down level. We might still have issues. Also, it's too buoyant. We need to add more weight. Alright, so everywhere I sort of can, I'm going to go ahead and add weight blocks. So in between these guys, weight blocks. Right here, weight blocks. And right here, also weight blocks. Let's go ahead and try and sort this bit out by doing this. And on this side, we can do essentially the same thing. There we go. So it should be weighed down enough now, hopefully. Um, but we'll see. Alright, here we go. Let's go ahead and flip these guys around onto there. Do this side as well. There we go. And, yeah, try again. Alright, so let's go ahead and see if it weighs enough now. I'm going to go ahead and drop it down, and it has actually gone straight down. Let's go ahead and stop it there really quickly. And I'm just going to go ahead and get back inside of this thing. Here we go. It's at the bottom of the ocean. And it is... It's got some water in it, but not much. Which is actually really cool. So what we might have to do with this thing is actually put some pumps on it. Uh, and that would be awesome. But essentially what this allows us to do is actually get out of the vehicle if we wanted to. Um, whilst underwater. That would be really cool. So this needs lights. Uh, it needs some equipment. And then it'll work fine. Oh, and I am actually going to go ahead and slow these guys down right now. They're actually going to be like 0.1. They need to be very, very slow. Otherwise, we're going to have issues anyway. So there we go. That is done. Let's go ahead and go to the inside of here. And I guess we'll put like a single light in. Here we go, just a little light. Yes. Uh, and I guess we'll do that in pink as well. There we go. We'll have a pink light in our pink little thing underneath the pink little water ocean thing in my bobby. All right, button. Here we go. So toggle button. That's going to go in there. We're going to put another toggle button in. And I am going to delete these guys. And I'm actually going to go ahead and put in a uh, heater. Here we go. So a heater is going to have to go in here anyway. There we go. Shove that in. Very nice. On the walls at the sides, we're going to delete this one and this one. And we're going to get some scuba gear. Uh, actually, no, some diving. Diving gear. Uh, and unfortunately, that can't actually happen. That's annoying. Uh, it's going to have to go here instead. So shove that on there. And I don't really have anywhere else to put any more. So only two people can go diving at once. Oh, actually, we can put one here. Three people can go diving at once. <laughs> Interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and do it again. Lower it down. This time it is actually seemingly getting lowered a lot slower, which is lovely. I'm not going to let it get to the actual bottom, because I want to see if we can actually do the diving. There we go, so it stops right there. That is actually the perfect speed for it, too. It's crazy that that is the slowest speed it'll actually go, but yeah. So, let's say I was swimming in the ocean, and I wanted to get into this thing. We just do this. And we're in, there we go. I want to turn on the lights. Uh, they're not actually connected, and I didn't connect the heater, but... That's fine. So we got diving gear on, we dive back in, and we can swim around. That 
that's actually really cool. Yeah. So if we put some lights on this, like pointing out sideways, we'll be able to see all around us. And, um, yeah, it totally works. That's awesome. And then, yeah, we can go ahead and swim back inside whenever we want to and just sit in our seat. Yes, there is water in here right now. If we added a pump, we could probably get some of that water out. Uh, and I'm actually really happy with this. Awesome. So yeah, realistically, I think this should be controlled from down here rather than at the top. Um, but in real life, I suppose it would be controlled via the top and not the bottom. Um, because that's where the machinery actually is. But yeah, overall, I'm actually very pleased with the way this is going. Let's go ahead and press 2 to try and raise this back up. And if it goes in, I would be surprised. If it actually manages to get itself in there, that would be amazing. Alright, it's trying. It is actually trying to pull itself up, and... No, it did. It, it actually worked. It did actually come all the way up. And there we go. So, that's it. That's our diving bell. That's what this ship is actually going to be for. So, I'm really pleased with it. Uh, we are going to add some pumps to it. We'll obviously make it a different color, because at the minute it's pink. Um, and yeah, I think that'll be awesome. So, for now, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.